Hi, we're Maya and Emre, and this is the Alp de Susie, also known as the Sizer Alm. This unbelievably beautiful and vast meadow is located in the Dolomites of South Tyrol, Italy. Alp de Susie is massive, just colossal. Imagine if all of Manhattan Island was a single rolling lawn of grass, flowers, and picture-perfect wooden huts. That's Alpe de Suzy. You can barely see from one end to the other, spread between the Schlern and the twin Sasso Mountains. In this video, we're going to start in Kompach and sample three beautiful sections of the meadow. Puflach, Panorama toward the Punta di Ora, and finally Panorama toward Rausch. We're lost. We had a hard time finding the way to Puflach. Puflach. We were complaining that the signs were too small, but look at this. We feel like little specks as we start to discover this enormous place. But we're happy specks. The sun warms our skin, whiffs of herby grass surround us, and the cowbells are tinkling in the distance. It's absolutely breathtaking, and at times we feel completely speechless. Spectacular nature is just everywhere. Right out there are the Hallfingers, a South Tyrolean horse known for grace and mountain hardiness. My pal. You're like a pretty mellow dude, aren't you? Here we are, now heading up to the top of the panorama. So we're taking a little bit of a shortcut instead of walking like um, all these people. You know. That yeah. was us the last two times. <laughs> exactly. The lift drops us up high on the meadow's south side, and we're going to walk across the meadow toward the two humps of the Sasso Mountains at the far end. The farmers are going crazy trying to get all the hay cut before it starts raining again. Because today is the first day of three days, not supposed to be any rain. And they have to cut it, dry it a bit, get it down the mountain into their barns, all in three days. Yeah, come on. Here is Eben. Yeah. Mm. We feel a target in Sonne. Seit gestern. In the next day, what machen Sie next? So, strudel and done? Yeah, genau. Und dann kommen wir mit, mit dem uh, Ladewagen. Hay making seems like an awful lot of backbreaking work in difficult terrain. But the hay feeds the alpine cows who can't eat from the meadows in the winter. Their alpine milk goes to make premium cheeses, yogurts, chocolates. I can see how things might taste better when snow melt from the mountains trickles into the earth to grow the grasses that are laced with flowers and herbs and then warmed by high altitude sun. But can you really taste the difference? <laughs> <laughs> The hay yogurt's smoother, more delicate taste actually did win. Thank you, Alpine Farmers. I think we may have gotten off course a bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's see.
All day long, we've had a strange, but really just super wondrous feeling of being tiny specks before something giant, something everlasting that doesn't bend to anyone or anything. It's been a day of feeling humbled, like we're constantly appreciating that we're kind of insignificant in the scheme of things. And guess what? Scientists say that's actually good. They've proven that the awe we feel when confronted with the grandeur of nature actually makes us kinder, more creative, and even boosts our immune systems. So thank you, Alp de Suzy, for putting us down in size. We think Alp de Suzy is a highlight of any trip to the Dolomites, and honestly, of any trip to Italy or Europe. It's a hundred times better than what we can show you on film. Okay, we're finishing our day here at the Sizer Island, where uh, the sun's about to set, and we need to hurry back to our car so we can get home before darkness and maneuvering the serpentine. I know, it's a lot, it's a curvy road. There's a lot of switchbacks, and that's scary enough when it's not dark, so we want to get back before then. But this has been fun. I hope you enjoyed coming with us. And we'll see you on the next hike. Bye. Bye.